As if Hampton Roads didn't have enough creepy crawly creatures, there's a new tick in town. Old Dominion University researchers discovered the bug in Chesapeake, Suffolk, and Virginia Ugh. Beach. And they may be in other cities as well. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox has more on the Gulf Coast ticks and why we should start checking for them. Andy? Hey, Stephanie Nicole. Hey, the fox, Andy. The fox <laughs> is on the tick. There you go. Now, the Gulf Coast tick was first spotted in Virginia in 1965. The one on the left is the female, and the one on the right there is the male. But that may have been a fluke when we discovered it in 1965. Now, for the first time, we have self-sustaining populations and rashes and fevers from that type of tick. So this is a female Gulf Coast tick, and this is the male Gulf Coast tick. Two Gulf Coast ticks, part of important research at ODU, that confirms permanent populations of the aggressive tick species in Virginia and the spreading of what is called tidewater spotted fever. Researcher Dr. Holly Gaff. But it's not as severe as Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So Rocky Mountain is one of the ones that actually does kill a lot of people. Um, this version, you just get spots and feel miserable for a while. Here are pictures of the Gulf Coast tick. The male is on the left, female is on the right. The ODU research just published will appear in the CDC's journal, Emerging Infectious Diseases. The aggressive tick is unique in that it stalks and hunts its prey. Origins in the Gulf Coast region spreading to Virginia, likely migrated north on the backs of birds. A Navy sailor camping at Fort Story, likely the first to be bit by the Gulf Coast tick here in Virginia. ODU alerted by the Navy, the unique disease in the Gulf Coast tick is now in a Navy sailor. Looking at through the through the vial and I, and I think it was Wayne said that one looks different. The symptom is a rash, but extensive research is underway taking DNA from ticks. So basically I get these uh, little vials of DNA and I get to test these, each one of them, for multiple pathogens to see what they might carry. There's a lot more here that we don't know about. Dr. Wayne Hines is director of ODU's biology department and says the Education Institute allows for flexibility in research. We can at least look at them and see what is happening to that population, what's happening to the ecology in that area that's allowing us, allowing these to proliferate. And again, the symptoms of a Gulf Coast tick bite is a rash and fever and can be treated with antibiotics. There is no evidence, no evidence, tidewater spotted fever from this tick is deadly like the Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Ladies, I've been in this business since 1984, and that is the first story I've done on tick research. And really? they were holding them in their hands. Oh. They, uh, yeah, and you know what? And, crazy. And, 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 they were, and then she did that. And you can't kill them. You can't kill a tick. Yuck. You, but they can't bite you, so be careful, researchers. Hey, I was doing a story. I was in the woods. Got ticks all over me. Haven't been the same since. Oh, my goodness. Is that what happened? Okay. That's all right. what happened. <laughs> you want to know what happened? That's what happened. Thanks, Thank Andy. You. Andy. <laughs> hang, hang in there, Andy.